Welcome back to the story. How are the commercials? Good? Good. Uh, before the break, we were talking about how the city denied the right wing group, the Proud Boys, a permit to rally this Saturday in North Portland. The official reason being because of coronavirus. The city just isn't handing out permits to protest of any kind. And we checked on this. They haven't for the time being. But for Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler, there's another reason to oppose the rally, and it has to do with where the Proud Boys want to gather. Wheeler wrote an op ed in the Portland Tribune saying, on Saturday, September 26th, a group of far right extremists and white nationalist groups will be coming to our city. They have announced plans to gather at Delta Park, the location of the historic Vanport City, which has important historical context. He continued, Vanport was created as a temporary housing project to keep black residents out of Portland. It was also the site of a devastating flood in 1948. Intentional or not, these groups choosing Delta Park for this event is an insult. Now, the history of Vanport is a long one, and it touches on some really raw topics that we're still grappling with today. For more, let's go into the KGW vault. The city of Vanport was built during World War II in North Portland, right where Delta Park is today. At the time, it was the second largest city in Oregon and the largest federal housing project in the country, home to more than 40,000 people. About 40% of the population was black. Most people worked in the Kaiser shipyards for the war effort, but a lot of them left town when the war ended. By 1948, the population had essentially been cut in half, and that is when disaster struck. On Memorial Day, the Columbia River breached the railroad levee, spilling into Vanport and destroying the city. At least 17 people died. It was the worst um, weather disaster in the United States in 1948. And so it had national and international news. Um, President Truman came and he said we should rebuild it. However, the city fathers at that time did not want it rebuilt. Um, they wanted Vanport essentially gone and erased, which is part of the reason that so few people know about Vanport today. But the city left a legacy behind, helping integrate Portland and Oregon, a state that not long before had very few black people due to its black exclusion laws. These were strangers, 40,000 strangers, who created a community. And when that community was disrupted, they brought that community feeling right into Portland and changed it from extremely conservative to what we have now. The issues of home, displacement, and community that Vanport really helps us dig into are, are still clearly uh, issues that the whole country and the city of Portland are facing. I mean, the city of Vanport was built because there was not enough housing. The Vanport Mosaic Festival was held every year in May, complete with a day of remembrance to talk about the history of Vanport and what our community can continue to learn from it. The Vault is one of our most popular segments here on The Story. We know that because every time we air one, we get a lot of emails from a lot of you wondering about some other stuff that we might find down there. So keep those coming. Um, that usually is what kind of drives us to go down there and start looking around. You can email us at the story at KGW.com or tweet us using the hashtag HeyDan.